Moana Staunton hopes a new trial will open doors for thousands of other women who, like her, have suffered debilitating effects from faulty breast implants. What the scaffolds are like. She's the first person in the world to trial a new, more natural approach to breast reconstruction, pioneered in Queensland. I was excited. It wasn't about being the first, it was about helping people who needed to have this procedure. Here's how it works. Scientists use a 3D printer to create a scaffold made from the same material as dissolvable stitches. It's placed into a cavity in the breast area. The patient's own fat is injected into it. The scaffold binds everything in place. Over the next two years, the scaffold dissolves, leaving the patient's newly formed tissue and collagen. The thing we're trying to achieve here is something that is so you know, innately part of the patient that it ultimately disappears and what's left is the patient themselves or their own tissue. It's such an important leap forward. I think a real game changer for women um, who are going to need uh, treatment going forward and then a real game changer for the surgeons that are delivering that treatment. Moana's procedure five weeks ago went smoothly and her symptoms, including dizziness and brain fog, have improved. Overall, it's, it's been an excellent, you know, amazing experience for me. Doctors hope a second trial will include breast cancer patients wanting a reconstruction, though radiation damage could make that more complex. It may need to be a little bit more carefully considered and may need to be a little bit slower and cautious in how we implement it. According to the latest data, about 9,500 Australians had breast implants in 2020. Most implants will last about 15 years. And while this new technology is a way off, if it proves successful, it could mean implants never need to be replaced. Sophie Scott, ABC News.